Hey guys, I just recorded this video and it was way too long, so now I'm going to try to do the condensed version of this dreadlock tag video. So excuse me if I go really fast. I'm trying to make it in 10 minutes so I can load it from the MacBook. Do you remember any specific moment you decided that you wanted to go ahead and lock your hair? I decided to lock my hair right after my wedding. Uh, for my wedding, I was rocking micro braids and, and my hair was natural underneath. And right after the wedding, I decided to go ahead and lock. I wasn't working at the time. I had a lot of spare time on my hands. And I just took my time one day and just parted my hair and did two strand twists to lock my hair. Uh, so the next question is what method? Like I said, two strand twist is how I locked my hair. How old are your locks? My locks will be six years old, July 22nd of 2011. So right now they're like five and a half. Um, what is your longest lock and what's your shortest lock? My longest lock would be one of these bad boys in the back. Um, my locks in the back all go past my bra strap. One of these guys back here. My shortest lock would be one of the guys in the front, which are like here. These locks are shorter in the front because the back they go past my bra strap but this one they're kind of they're shorter in the front. Do you have any locks that are especially unique, strange, or awesome? I think they're all unique and awesome. I don't consider any of them strange. You know, locks are like your babies and you have to love them all. I mean um, sometimes they behave, sometimes they show out, uh, especially when companies, um, anyway sometimes they show out and uh, but you have to love them all the same, especially when they're in that unruly beginning stage. You have to really, you have to really be patient and love your hair and know that you're beautiful because sometimes they'll be like this and you'll be like, how is this going to be cute? Is this what I want? <laughs> you'll, you'll think about cutting them off and everything, but stick with it, okay? Anyway, how many locks do you currently have? I actually have not counted my locks in several years. I have no interest in counting them. I'm sorry. Uh, when I did count them, I think I had like 110 or something, uh, but I have combined locks throughout the years. So um, I would guess... I would guesstimate to, that I'd have maybe a little over 90, that's what my guess, from combining them. Whenever my locks feel like they're getting thin, I will combine them in a minute. I am anti-broken locks. I do not like that look. So if, I think, if I'm worried about locks, I will combine them without a doubt, without a hesitation. Um, what shampoo or other products do you use? I try, I'm trying to go natural as much as possible. I'm using um, olive oil, organics. Uh, I use that locking gel. I also use um, their shampoo that I really, really like. I use Jamaican mango and lime, which, which isn't natural, but it works for me for right now. Um, I also use shea butter in my hair. I do hot oil treatments with shea butter, and I mix in some essential oils. I use, of course, my Africa's Best oil in my hair. I'm trying to, I'm going to get it where I'm strictly natural on my hair, but I haven't found a locking gel that's natural. People told me about aloe vera gel. That didn't work for me, so I'm kind of in the market for another all-natural locking gel. Once I get that, I think I'm good to go. Um, what else? How often do you wash your hair? I try to do it once a week, um, at the most, maybe every 10 days or so. Do you have a regular maintenance for your locks? Yes, on Sunday is my love day for my hair, my beauty day really. Um, normally that's when I wash my hair and also Sunday is when, sometimes I do hot oil treatments on Sundays, but mostly just washing my hair and then once I wash it, I may like do some big buckwheat braids in it just to give it kind of a wave and to keep it from shrinking. I hate shrinkage with locks. Natural hair shrinks like, I hate shrinkage. So I'll normally braid my hair just to stretch it out. Um... Do you have any beads or favorite decorations for your hair? Um, no, I don't really do beads in my hair. Um, as far as that's concerned, I think they're cute. They're great for bridal. I did a recent tutorial that was my um, bridal tut, and I put some gold accessories in my hair. Uh, for every day, I don't, I'm not really into lock jewelry for every day. I'll style my hair, style the heck out of it, but I don't really like jewels and stuff in it. Um, if, your, if your locks had, your, had their own model, what would it be? Um, it's about time. That's what it would be. I threatened to lock my hair for a long, long time. I was scared to do the big chop. I was scared about what I would look like. Um, just really, I wasn't sure. I, nobody I knew had locks. 
personally. So it was kind of like, you know, I was going to be the first person to kind of do something. And it's, you know, I really wasn't sure what I was going to look like. Could I do it myself? And, you know, my husband actually really, really encouraged me. Um, as I told you guys in a video a long ago, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I actually met my husband. I had a wig on and he didn't even know it. Uh, <laughs> I told him later, but he didn't know it. And he, his main thing was, he said, I don't care if your hair was long all the way down your butt or if your hair is short like Halle Berry. He's like, as long as it's yours. And he's like, if you want locks, I'm all for that because at least that's your hair. So um, he was very supportive of me locking my hair. Um, let's see. If you can start them all over again and do anything differently. I keep tossing around the idea of sister locks, but then I don't like how much maintenance the sister locks require. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't do it. But I love how thin they are. You can, you basically can style. You do the same thing I do with these locks, but they look even cuter from the styling and the curling and all that. But I have done my hair myself and I don't want to feel like I have to go to the loctician and I feel like with sister locks you'll have to go for more maintenance and I'm not really into that um is there anything else you think about your appearance tattoos or piercings I've never no tattoos no piercings um do you know any people personally who have locks no actually I I don't most people who I know tell me they like my locks and they say they just cut their locks so I don't know why people cut them and then they regret it. It's like everybody I know, well, from YouTube or whatever, when they cut their locks, they regret it. And every time I threaten to cut mine, my husband always says, you know you're going to be like those girls who regret it. And I'm like, I know. But sometimes I just get the craving to want to comb through some hair. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what else. What else has any employer uh, ever turned you down because of having locks? No, not that I know of. Maybe because of race in one instance, uh, but I don't think it was because of my hair. What is the worst or the um, worst, dumbest, and funniest question, the most commonly asked question you've been asked? I don't really have a weird one, but the dumbest is when people try to diss locks and then try to compliment mine. Like, locks are normally nasty. I normally think locks ugh, are ugly, and I just can't stand locks, but I like yours. Like, how are you going to diss my whole community and think that's cool? That's like saying all black people are dumb, but you, you smart, though. Like, that's not cute. Um, I don't think that's a compliment, and I, I hate that. To me, that's the dumbest thing you can say is diss somebody and then try to, you know, compliment them. Um, my most commonly asked question is how long have I been locked? Have I had any freak accidents or embarrassing moments with my locks? No. Do I have any dreaded lock role models? Um, most of the role models that I liked are no longer locked. Um, that's people like Guapale, um, Natalie from Floetry, Lauren Hill, Bilal, Lenny Kravitz. All those people, I love their hair. And they all cut their hair. And then, like, here on YouTube, I loved Shanta715. And I absolutely adored the hair of Farron78. I followed Farron78 before she was on YouTube when she had a picture trail. When her hair was just gorgeous. She had the prettiest lock. I just loved her hair. She's no longer locked, but they're locking again. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite, like, lock role models. What, uh, lock YouTubers would you see yourself hanging with in real life? Um, I would hang with those people. I would hang with Chata Kali, uh, Coco Femme. I would hang with, uh, Farron, Shanta715. They're really cool, down-to-earth, laid-back people, and that's what I like. Um, most of them are into makeup like I am. Some, and this is kind of strange. I'm just going to rant real quick. But not really rant. But some people feel like because I'm natural with my hair, that I, my whole thing should be natural. I can't wear makeup. I can't want to be dolled up. You can be natural and still be a girly girl and still wear a little bit of eyeshadow and stuff like, stuff like that. So, um... But yeah, I like all those girls because they're they're more like me. You you got your little hair going, you got your little nails, you got everything going. I like the girly vibe. Just because you have locks doesn't mean you don't care about your appearance. Just because I let my hair do what it wants doesn't mean I don't get in there and help it out. You know what I'm saying? I and mean, that might be strange, but anyway, that's just random. Um, who am I tagging? I am tagging the fabulous Coco Fam. She is the Coco Fam. Ooh. -ooh. Anyway, I loved her old intro. I like a new one too, but the old one, I was like, jam! Anyway, I'm tagging her and I'm tagging the fabulous Francesca, Jessica Lee. Um, so hopefully you guys will do the tag. And if any of you guys want to do it, you go right ahead. You can put it as a video response below. I made it in less than 10 minutes. So anyway, I love you guys. I'm sorry if this is really, really rushed. I did this video before and it was like 15 minutes. And I had to do the condensed version, okay? I will see you guys soon. I love you guys so much. Deuces!